Today, uh, I think we can all join in together and say that uh, we're saying to the to the people of uh, the Swinomish tribe, to the people of the great state of Washington, Kicket Island is yours, it is ours, finally, and thank goodness. I know it is a homecoming uh, to the Swinomish community, and I especially want to say thank you to each and every one of you for your tremendous efforts. This is a first. We have never before entered into agreement to co-own and co-manage uh, a park in the state of Washington between the state and a uh, tribal uh, community. But as far as we know, ladies and gentlemen, it's the first in the nation. Uh, I hope it's not the last. I hope this is an example to everybody here in the state and around the nation that this really is the way in which we can join together in a common value of preserving and protecting our amazing land. It's a day for all of us, I think, to be proud of. Uh, Brian, for you, for your commitment, thank you and be proud, my friend. Kicket Island is proof that when we all come together, we can accomplish amazing things. Um, in tough times, and we are literally in some of the worst of economic times, some might say now is not the time for us to be buying or saving Kicket Island. To them I say, let us think like our friends in the tribal community, where we think out generations. And if we only think out generations, there is no time better than today to save Kicket Island. Welcome to Kukutali, Kicket Island, Kukutali. Uh, before I uh, go on any further, this is an awesome day. I can remember as a child uh, clamming out here. Uh, I know many of our elders remember fishing out here. And uh, it's actually been uh, 26 years since the last time I dug any clams out here. Brought my father-in-law and my brother-in-law out here 26 years ago. And so I am so blessed uh, to be back here today uh, with my father, um, Kel Kaltze. If any of you are familiar with the Point Elliott Treaty, his great-grandfather signed the Point Elliott Treaty, and his Indian name was Kel Kaltze. So dad carries that Indian name from his great-grandfather, who put his ex on the Point Elliott Treaty for the Swinomish tribe. Going to be 77 years young this year, and I thank God for my father. You know, when I had an opportunity to uh, speak with Wampus, Ivan Willup here, about Kicket Island, when he was a child, he remembers getting on a canoe on the other side where that access road starts and paddling out here to Kicket Island as a child. Sepelia is here with us, and I know she remembers as a child uh, beach sailing right here at Kicket Island. I never had an opportunity yet to experience beach sailing out here. I look forward to it. Uh, but Sapelia, when she was a child, she was out here beach sailing, and I know maybe some of you other elders remember being out here with the uh, with um, your your elders that have gone on to do that kind of work. As I stand here today, the tribe, the state, we share a common vision for Kukutali, one where the natural resources and beauty that you've experienced today are protected forever, and one where once the park is open to the public a non-consumptive day-use recreational opportunities will be available to everyone, all citizens who come here from around the world to enjoy this wonderful beauty that we're going to preserve forever. And today we're here celebrating the purchase of Kicket Island, the first public park in the country that is co-owned and co-managed by an Indian tribe in the state of Washington. <laughs> 